Now, now, Gip, this is clearly not dung. But we'll see if we can't make it work. <laughs> so I haven't eaten in a while, Father. I, I can't just produce it on, on, on command. Hi, everybody. I'm Faith. Hi. I'm Lewis. And this week is a very special episode of Deck of Crotchety Things. Um, if you were watching this, the last 10 minutes of this, me frantically trying to get this put together. Uh, thank you for your patience. I'm still frantically trying to get it put together. But we have some special guests this week to make up for the lack of an episode last time. We're just going to put everything together and uh, do an actual adventure. So... I don't know if our special special guests want to fight for the right to introduce themselves first. Knife fight, knife fight. I expect that you as win. much from you. It, it's hard to do from a distance, though, so I'll just go last. <laughs> Social distance knife fight, Liam. Yes. Throw also, a spear. It well, okay, I'm Greg. Hi, Greg. Hi. <laughs> and in this campaign, I'm going to be Tim, the fighter. <laughs> oh, guess I'll go next. I'm Adam. Uh, I am a role player, and I will be playing Father Yosef the Jovial. Hello, uh, my name is Liam Burke. I am a information technology distribution corporate chill by day writer by night role player on the weekends and i'll be playing gip uh who is totally a halfling and not a goblin <laughs> <laughs> and i will be playing a uh, skimperdina poiple hashell the uh gnome that i rolled up uh back in episode seven nice yes for what it's worth i'm retired so that's the dream and it's still and i was and i'm still rushing around making my character so that goes that just shows you what retirement is like oh i got plenty of time to do this oh wait what is this faith oh my god <laughs> uh, i don't want warning. to i don't have to i can't make you you're retired is that what it is yes that's it i don't have to <laughs> but here i am and i realized that this is the first time I've seen a third, uh, third ed, 3.5 ed player handbook in many years. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the original yeah. book that uh, uh, that Gregory got me. And it's probably been about that many years since I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> is that thing old enough to drink or just die for its country? Uh, both? I'll find out. All right. Wow, that was a while ago. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Are you kidding? They don't have. So now it's showing what it needs to show. Let's play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, the frontier hamlet of Barrow's Edge has called for adventurers, requesting help and promising a reward. The request did not include any specifics. The dirt road you travel shows signs of regular use. There are a few weeds and fresh groves show frequent passage of wagons. The road winds through the moderately forested land. Somewhere up ahead, you hear the sound of goblins. So Liam's character is talking. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a halfling. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> halfling. How oh, do I... He's quite a good boy. I found him... I... How many years ago, and I've taken him under my wing, so to speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that's what happened. Okay. Yes. I so don't we hear trust goblins. him. That's hurtful. That's just hurtful. Did one of you guys say you heard goblins? Once in a while. Yeah. Aren't there goblins up ahead? Hmm. <laughs> All right, so Father Yosef is going to, I guess he's going to make a spot check to see what's going on. Uh, yeah, um, you 
you make you make make a spot check and you um, jog a couple of yards to reach the top of a rise. Okay. Um, so you can get a better look. Do that. And everything is a private wow. message straight to me. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, you can see up ahead. There's um, definitely been a fight. Several wagons have been tipped over, and goods have been smashed. There are corpses of elves and go goblins scattered all across the road. Um, and you can see the last of the goblins making their way away. Two of them are remaining to fight over uh, some sort of blanket, while the last of them seems to disappear into the tree line. Okay, so Father Yosef will will uh, turn back to the rest of the group and say, Oh my, there's been a fight! It looks like there's some injured people down there. We must go immediately. There's Looks like there's some green halflings running off. I, I, I don't know what happened, but we have to go help them. So he's going to uh, immediately start hobbling down there as quick as his old legs will carry him. Yep. Okay. He's okay, encumbered by his clothing. <laughs> Gip will use yes, uh, Father Yosef as cover and uh, just kind of walk <laughs> behind him and then at the last second lean out and try to shoot one of the goblins with his short bow to try to get a sneak attack. Uh, okay, that'll be like 30 feet, so the goblins will mm -hmm. probably see you guys before then. Yep. Given but that he's hoping they'll, the they'll see the human first. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, they'll see him first, but like from a mile off because he's clanky and old. <laughs> What's, what what creaks more, your knees or your armor? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good. They're, they're probably both creaking quite a bit. Um, everyone else? Uh, Skimper, oh, I'm... Scampers after them. Ooh. Okay, I'm go along. I have a light crossbow, so I'm going to shoot one of the green halflings, or shoot at one of the green halflings when I'm in range. Okay. I'll probably run by the time we get there, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Right, so you pop your crossbow off. Is that the, the nine there? No, that's the, no, that's my that's my hit points. <laughs> oh. Oh, you get full hit dice at level one. Yeah, yeah, you get max at full. At oh, the first oh level. So I, okay, so I get a ten. All right, all right. So, add, make sure you add I've... your uh, your uh, constitution bonus as well. What constitution bonus? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, in that case, you're all set. <laughs> <laughs> Best party. Yes. I mean, I, I'm I'm still just in awe that um, Adam required to the toughness feat. <laughs> okay, so I've got um. Let's see. I got to roll a d20, right? Uh, yes, please. All right. So as the three of them are scuttering down the, the rise, you get a much longer range shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see I'm going to roll like rolling like my <laughs> usual self. <laughs> First roll of every game. Hey, Unanimously bad. Louis, At least we have like a map or hit. something we can drop down? Uh, not for this one. This one's mostly just... Um, At least I did with mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, at least I didn't hit Yosef the Yovial in the back. <laughs> Yosef the Yovial. Oh no. The, Yosef the Yovial. The goblins got away. How terrible. So your bolt flies through the air um, and it strikes through the carpet that the two goblins were arguing over. Um, they have now seen you and turned to you. Ooh. Um you you three can move up the last little bit that you want to dash out okay. and get a sneak attack before they actually react. Okay. Um, I'll switch to my scimitar and shield. Um, okay, so Father uh, Yosef will brandish his light mace and uh, he's, he's not really interested in attacking anything per se. He's more interested in protecting any potential survivors. So he's just going to kind of hobble down there as fast as his elderly legs will carry him. And uh, he'll be shouting, In the name of Palor, stop! I command you! Okay, uh, as we go through the rest of 
everyone, would you roll a, a spot check and I'll um, come back to you? Okay. What the heck is that? What did you click to do that? Oh, jeez. Well... Uh, did don't... you click the first dice next to short bow? Because I think it's the third dice you have to click. Oh, yeah, you got some small. you got some goofy stuff going on there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. There we go. Oh wow, yeah, so everyone's doing amazingly badly. Yeah. Um your short but as you step out from the shadow of Father Yosef the Uriel, um Gip lunges forward with a short bow and shoots another hole in the carpet, which has now been discarded on the floor. Darn, a perfectly good carpet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Skimpadina? Uh, I'm trying to think of something clever to do with prestidigitation right now. <laughs> um, let's see. You make the carpet talk. I could. I actually also have no. uh, ghost sound. <laughs> How far should... away am I? Because I'm pretty sound. sure it's like a... Ooh. Hang on. Um, yeah, anywhere within 50 feet, really. Yeah, anywhere between 30 and 50 feet. I'm sorry, what? Okay, so... <clears throat> All right. Yeah, so, you know, I'll... Uh... Hello. I like the idea Hello? of making the carpet talk and insulting the, no, uh, the gonna, goblins to distract coming him. coming right over. I do know gob. I do know goblin, Ooh. so I could maybe. Oh. I wonder if I could do that actually. <laughs> if I know a language, can I use ghost sound yeah. to mimic that language to have it insult somebody? Well, um, kind of. At least this time, yes. All right then, I'm gonna do that. Um, Greg, are you saying something? He's talking to my mom. No. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Father Yosef. Oh, these uh, darn cataracts. I can't see much of anything. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Pretty sure. <laughs> so... I don't know if the rest of you guys saw that roll. He looked into the sun and sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think all of our roles go privately to the GM. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Dad's roll for the Some that do. six went right to um went right to the well, main screen. Oh yeah, well, he's doing a... slash roll. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm doing slash roll because I haven't figured out that I can click the little dice. <laughs> I don't trust the little dice. I've had too many bad issues with the little dice on roll twenty, so I just they don't seem to like things. us. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, so what do I need to roll to get to, to trick these goblins? Um, some sort of bluff check, I think. Okay. Well, I do have skills and bluff. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay. How many points do I have in bluff? Let me see. Oh, I've got five points in bluff. Okay. Okay. Hey, stop Noise. it. Okay. I'm sorry. Alright. I got a twenty. Okay. Uh, what what are you what are you doing exactly? So I'm using ghost sound to make the carpet talk and insult the goblins. Stinky little green men. Stinky little green men. Can't even okay. can't even fight an old man. Yeah. She's just hurtful. Oh. I mean, that was just rude, but okay. Um, yeah. yeah, the goblins seem really confused, as if there's someone in the rug, maybe? Yeah, yeah maybe there's someone in the rug. So, um, yeah, let's go back to... Let's go back to Greg, because you were up on the rise a little bit with your... Scimitar and shield. Okay, so um, I I have my scimitar and shield, and uh, now I don't remember what to do. <laughs> 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 hey, 
Hey, can I do power? Do I Who's the geriatric in this party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can have more than one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, darn it. I can never. Power How far attack. away are they? Yeah. Can you charge attack? Or... I'm charged. Uh, yes, you can You can get charged. Everyone's yeah, been. I'm getting a now. charge attack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just go in there and charge, and I forget what it does. <laughs> plus two to attack. Yep. Plus two to attack. All right, and I and I'm swinging my faithful, trusty scimitar at them. Oh, don't give it a name. That's not going to make it roll badly. Didn't I didn't give it, give it a name. name. He just said it was his I faithful, trusty faith scimitar. Oh, that was oh. a mistake. Oh, you're going to find out it's untrustworthy. Oh no! Oh wait! wait. Oh no! no he's he's fine. You didn't roll. We all need to name anymore. our weapons. Everyone name your weapons immediately. Oh, my trusty light mace. Dad, no, Dad, I think you what? rolled it wrong. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's, it's not It's not 20 sided dice, you just rolled a 20. Oh, he rolled a 1. 20, D20. No, it's not a dice that he rolled, he just rolled 20. Ah, oh, alright. There we go. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's still pretty darn good. Um, and with all your pluses and minuses on there, that's still pretty damn good, isn't it? A plus two to hit. Uh, do, do. Yeah, yeah regular um, attack. Yeah. Here I was thinking, oh my god, a natural 20. I finally did it. Well, it, it, it was a natural 20. It was just 20 yeah, was out of 20. 20 D1s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, you, you swing your scimitar and you hit a goblin in the, the fleshy bits. Fleshy bits. How do I do damage with this? Damage, calc, damage. What is it? Like Roll, 26 uh... damage? Mm -hmm. Power attack? Do I have a power attack? Uh, you would have said that before you made yeah. your attack roll. Uh, but okay. yeah, it would be minus one to hit for and plus one to damage. Well, I didn't do that, so... It just said input additional damage bonus. Now that was two to attack, so there's no additional damage bonus. Yeah. And I did four damage to one of the little critters. Oh, wow. Um, and it's also red, which means that that was the lowest roll you could have got. Nice. All think, right. No, no, it's not. You could have rolled a three. But the goblin does sink down to his knees, and he seems to stop moving. Ooh. The other goblin is very confused as... You've all no! come out of nowhere. You've I charged mean, with your scimitar, okay. and his rug is talking to him in Goblin. <laughs> uh, who was next? Um, Liam? All right, so the other one is confused and is still alive. Yes, he's all rather right. panicked. All right, I'll try to shoot him. Does he notice me? Uh, he does. Okay, well, it's just a regular shot then. Pew! Oh, wait. I gotta hit a bunch of submits. Pew! Oh, yep, that is also enough. Uh, the Your short bow arrow lands in his um, in his chest and he just sinks to the floor like a bag of taters. No! I mean, yes! <laughs> That's our carpet, you little bastard. Our talking carpet. <laughs> Questions Tim is trying this. to figure out what the I'm carpet kidding. said. No. <laughs> okay, so they sink down. Sank down, yes. Okay, but they are not dead. They, they are dead, yes. Oh, They're bleeding out on the floor. Bleeding out? Are they bleeding on the rug? <laughs> no, the, the, the rug is quite fortunately fallen on top of another rug, which is being bled on. <laughs> That's the important part. That's great. We got holes in one rug and blood stains on the other. Okay. Nothing um, our little prestidigitation <laughs> can't cure. We can fix it. We can fix it. Why? Why do I need to fix this rug? It's just a rug. All right. Okay. So, um, I look around for another target <laughs> because I'm Tim and I'm that way. No, aside from a rather suspicious looking halfling, everyone seems to be pretty fine. Oh yeah, that's right. The suspicious, the the green halfling. To be fair, so, I think he's just ill. 
Just, just leave him be. He's just old. He's just skin old. Skin condition. Skin <laughs> condition. Yeah, that's right. I think a little prestidigitation can't cure. <laughs> that's why we're friends. So, Father Yosef will immediately start doing first aid on the uh, green halflings. <laughs> oh, dear, you, you guys must really be a bit more careful. You're gonna get somebody killed. Um, so he's going to try. Father, to father, they're dead. A... They're, they're dead, father. Well, he, he's gonna try to do a heel check anyways, and <laughs> we'll just see what happens. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, this is a good group. That's I can tell one. Hey, um, something. grabbing fistfuls of bloodstone grass and just ramming it into the abdomen of the first goblin, he seems to not get any better. No, he, the, the blood has gone out. Putting it back in doesn't help. Oh, you poor boy. And he's gonna look at the other one and see if he's. Yeah, I guess he'll just make a heel check to see if he can. Um, <laughs> if he's completely dead. Or just resting. <laughs> yeah. Um, whilst he is bleeding out, he is still conscious. Not conscious. Mm -hmm. Unconscious. Sorry. Okay, so he's gonna he's going to uh, he's gonna try to heal him then with with heal check. And do you want me to roll that again or? Uh, no, it's fine. You can. Okay. Uh, so he'll do that, and he'll like. You sort, you sort of lean over him, like I'll start shoving grafts back in you until you're better, and he's like, I'm okay. <laughs> Now, Kip, I Are need a horseshoe, some uh, uh, some cow dung, and some grass. Quick, quick! So he just hands him three random things from his sack that might weigh the same thing, and <laughs> does not try to actually get in those things at all because he knows that Father Yosef will not be able to tell anyway. <laughs> now, now, Kip, this is. Clearly not dung. But we'll see if we can't make it work. <laughs> so I haven't he's... eaten in a while, Father. I I can't just produce it on on, on command. Oh blessed pay Lord. Beseech your blessings on these poor servants. Uh he will I think he can zap him with a zeroth level um what is it, cure minor? Uh yeah, something like that. So he'll just burn. You can you can burn a a zero level spell, right? I believe so. Yes. Okay. So, cure mine. Let's see. Cure minor one point. So he'll zap him for one point. Okay. Uh, the goblin immediately becomes conscious again um, to see a mad old man waving a handful of dung above him. <laughs> but it's not dung. Oh, uh, you oh. you we almost lost you, my boy. Um, just a wide-eyed panic in his eyes. I don't speak goblin, so he's just gonna keep mumbling in common. Be cool, buddy, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> you really gotta be more careful. He says in goblin, be cool, buddy, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> why did oh, we yeah. bring the goblin yeah. back to life? Yeah, Gip, why don't you get him some water? Figure out what he was doing here. Yeah, come come with me. Before you can then um, move on to the next thing, you hear a disturbance as something falls over in one of the wagons. Okay. Like uh, a box falling off a shelf. Ah. Okay. Father Yo Yosef, he's, he's going to immediately forget about his patient and kind of wander over. Oh, what was that? <laughs> cool. While no one's looking, I'm going to slit his throat. Bedside doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> Like, oh no, he he didn't pull through. Sorry, Father. What? Who didn't pull through? Exactly. <laughs> What's going on over there? Yes, let's check out the wagon. <laughs> Who's got decent spotting skills? <laughs> uh, definitely not me. But not let's me give it a either, whirl anyway. I can give it. I can give it a shot. So inside the wagon, you can see that um, there was a shipment of some fruit and vegetables, which has just been scattered around across the floor and stomped down as the goblins took more interesting and more tasty things. Uh, however, seeing nothing of value, Gip, um, oh. other than stomped and crushed carrots. Um, Not at a first glance, right? 
Yeah, yeah you, you sort of shrug off. However, Father Yosef, you see a hairy foot sticking out from one of the underside of one of the barrels. Is that? I'll tickle it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Believe it or not, that's how he found me. <laughs> <laughs> but your feet aren't hairy. It's a uh, skin condition. You're just hurtful. Uh, he's after. Is it? Is it? Is it a cold foot or is it warm? Uh, no. As you tickle it, there is a absolutely terrified shriek, and someone comes shooting out the other end of the barrel. <laughs> uh, and it's a terrified little halfling. <laughs> Yeah, but it's one of your friends, except he's not as green as you. <laughs> he must not have the skin condition. So that concludes part one of our special live stream adventure. If you liked what you heard so far, the journey continues with part two. Special thanks to Tim from Tabletop Audio for our theme song, Chris for our official art, Greg, Adam, and Liam for adventuring with us, and to you, our dear listeners, because we wouldn't be here without you. See you next time.